Okay, so part one is going to be part of when I was on the way there from O'Hare to Long Island. Um, part two is also going to be on this day. Uh, part three is going to be Friday. And then when I'm actually in Manhattan doesn't start until part four. So skip to part four if that's all you want to see. Um, I'm going to explain to you my transit experience today. I'm going to explain to you getting on the plane, and once I get off the plane is going to be where part two starts. So, here we go. First thing I do is I get to the airport, okay? I haven't ever flown by myself before. The last time I ever flew on a plane, I was 14 years old. My parents did all that shit for me. Now I have to figure out what to do, pretty much by myself. So I get to the, the fucking airport, and I wait in line for the front desk. Even though I already printed out my boarding pass online, because it's just what everybody else is doing. And I get up to the, the front of the line already, and the guy's like, Oh, well you just have two carry-ons in your boarding pass, you're free to go. And I'm like, oh... Whoops, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so then I go in to get in security line and I'm waiting in line and I finally go through. I didn't realize that all I really had to do was take out my laptop and my bags full of liquid stuff and just put it on the tray. Like, and I didn't have to take out every last metal trinket I had in my bags because the bags of metal zippers on them anyway, dumbass. It's going to set off the elect the fucking detector no matter what I do. I'm getting tired, okay, right now. It's like 11 at night, and I'm... Words aren't coming to me as quickly, so I will be using lots of vocal fillers. And a lot of time, when I use vocal fillers, I say fucking. So, deal with it. Um, so, I go through security, everything's great. I take off my belt, you know, which I feel is a little bit awkward. I'm like, oh, I'm stripping in the middle of the airport. <laughs> and, uh... So I go through metal detector, everything goes very smoothly, and I'm like, okay, this was not so hard. I was stressing out about this before, this actually isn't that bad. So I get to the gate, okay? I'm sitting there waiting at the gate. I've got like a, over an hour until my flight leaves, because, you know, I allow, I allow myself a lot of time. I don't want anything to screw up. So I get in the gate, and I'm waiting, and then... They say there's an hour delay on my flight. Okay, well, normally I would have just been like, oh, okay, this kind of sucks. But I was like, fuck, this really sucks. Because when I was going to get off the plane at JFK, I was going to rely on public transportation to get me from point B, the airport, to point C, my destination. Point A is where I was originally. Figure it out. I was kind of pissed because, you know, <laughs> I'm probably going to miss my train. Crap. So then they get on the intercom later and they say, oh, we're having a 25-minute delay on our flight. I'm like, oh, okay, it went down from 60 to 25 minutes. No, actually, this 25 minutes was in addition to the hour delay already. So 85 minutes of delay. 85 minutes. I'm like, great. This sucks. I guess I just have to play it by ear once I get to the train station. So I get on the plane, and I did the thing that Shea Carl always does. When you get on the plane, you have to touch the outside of the plane, just for the novelty of it, and it's like some superstition that you're going to be safe or whatever. So I pulled a Shea Carl, and I touched the outside of the plane. And then when I finally got on the plane, uh... I was walking down the aisle, and then this lady just, like, looking at my shirt. I had my haiku shirt on. And she's like, what does your shirt say? I can't read the rest of your shirt. And I was like, oh, here's my shirt. It was the one that says, haikus are easy, but sometimes they don't make sense. Or, no. Yeah. It's haikus are easy, but sometimes they don't make sense. Refrigerator. So I get on, I get on the plane, and I'm like, oh, well, I hope you like the shirt because you're going to be sitting next to it for the next couple hours, because uh, she was in my aisle, and I was like, okay, I scoot in. I got a window seat, because I register early, and I could actually reserve that seat for myself, because I'm awesome, and I love windows, and I love seeing the outside, um, 
stuff on the plane because it looks a lot like maps, you know. So I sat down and we're talking to this lady. This lady turns out to be absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I have a feeling she has something like empathetic or like psychic going on. She's special, I think. Um, because she knew I was very smart before, like, I even started talking. Like, I feel like this woman got to know me better by looking at me than most people get to know me after, you know, knowing me for a month. So, you know, I sit down and we're talking, and then this other lady comes sit and sits down between us. And, uh, she is a Chinese lady who got a PhD from Oxford. Who gets a PhD from Oxford? The best of the best of the best. She got a PhD in, like, orthopedics or something. Something definitely medical, and I was just like, holy crap. I'm sitting next to the two most interesting people in the world. Fuck you, Dos Equis. This is the most interesting people in the world. So, so we get on the plane, and I really, really regret that uh, the only clip I have talking to this amazing lady was this clip that I took. But... Well, exactly, and it doesn't mean that you should be aware, because there's also... So, then we took off, and then we're flying, and then I was talking to these two very, very interesting people, and I wish I could have thought of more things to say to them, but I could just tell that, especially the one lady, like, they would, these people were meant for so much in life. So, uh, that's my first part of these videos. That is part one. Part two will take place once I land and will end with when I went to bed on Thursday. So click on part two on the bottom. If you want to skip right to Friday, click on part three. That's also at the bottom. That's going to be the next day when I wake up the next day. And if you want to skip right to the Manhattan stuff, you could skip to Saturday, which will be part four. And there will be a link to that somewhere down here too. So part two, three, four, pick one. Uh, I suggest part two if you want to get the whole experience and just go through all of this chronologically with me. So click on one of those freaking videos. Do it now.